हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुमीना रेड्डी चीफ फर्टिलिटी कंसल्टेंट एंड लैप्रोस्कोपिक सर्जन मीरा फर्टिलिटी हैदराबाद इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट हाइपर प्रोलैक्टिनीमिया व्हेन अ कपल मीट्स अ डॉक्टर फॉर देयर बेसिक फर्टिलिटी इवैल्यूएशन सम ऑफ द ब्लड टेस्ट आर डन वन ऑफ व्हिच इज प्रोलैक्टिन लेवल्स लेट अस नो अबाउट व्हाट इज प्रोलैक्टिन एंड हाउ इट अफेक्ट्स योर फर्टिलिटी प्रोलैक्टिन इज अ हार्मोन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय योर पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड which sits at the bottom of the brain prolactin causes breast to grow and develop and causes milk to be made after a baby is born normally both men and women have small amounts of prolactin in their blood prolactin levels are controlled by another hormone called as prolactin inhibiting factor such as dopamine during pregnancy dopamine levels go up after the baby is born there is a sudden drop in this dopamine levels and estrogen levels this leads to high prolactin levels that trigger the body to make milk for breastfeeding in women who are not pregnant prolactin helps regulate the menstrual cycle that is periods in men prolactin affects sperm production now what is hyperprolactinemia hyperprolactinemia is a condition in which there is too much prolactin level in the blood either in a woman who is not pregnant or in a man hyperprolactinemia is relatively common in women about a third of women in their child bearing years with irregular periods but normal ovaries have hyperprolactinemia when this happens a woman might get trouble getting pregnant or her breast may start producing milk outside of pregnancy which is called as galactoria 90% of women with galactoria also have hyperprolactinemia high prolactin levels interfere with the normal production of other hormones such as estrogen and progesterone this can change or stop ovulation that is the release of a egg from the ovary it can also lead to irregular or missed periods some women have high prolactin levels without any symptoms in men high prolactin levels can cause galactoria impotence that is inability to have an erection during sex reduced sexual desire and infertility a man with untreated hyperprolactinemia may make less sperms or no sperms at all what are the common causes of hyperprolactinemia some common causes are pituitary tumors or prolactinomas hypothyroidism that is underactive thyroid gland medicines given for depression psychosis and high blood pressure herbs such as fenugreek fennel seeds and red clover irritation of the chest wall from surgical scars shingles or even a very tight bra stress or exercise usually excessive or extreme levels of exercises certain foods and nipple stimulation no cause is found in about 1/3 of the cases about the cause for hyperprolactinemia how is hyperprolactinemia tested blood tests can measure the level of prolactin levels sometimes are higher if you have eaten recently or are under stress the test may be done again after you have fasted and are relaxed your doctor may also perform a physical examination to find any obvious cause or any breast discharge if levels are very high another second check can be done through a second blood test a doctor can also advise you to undergo mri imaging of your brain to check for any tumors in the pituitary gland how is hyperprolactinemia treated the treatment depends on the cause if no cause is found and you have or you have a tumor of the pituitary gland the usual treatment is medicine provided the tumor is small in size hypothyroidism is treated with thyroid replacement medicine which should also make prolactin levels return to normal if your regular medicine is the reason for your high prolactin levels your doctors will work with you to find a different medicine to control your psychological problems or high blood pressure that doesn't affect your prolactin levels medicines used to treat hyperprolactinemia 
the most commonly used medicine is called cabergolin and bromocriptin your doctor will start you on low dose of one of these medications and slowly increase the dose according to your requirement until your prolactin levels go back to normal treatment continues until your symptoms lessen or you get pregnant or your blood levels come back to normal usually your doctor will stop your treatment once your blood levels are normal these medicines have very few side effects the most common side effects of these medicines are lightheadedness nausea and headache slowly increasing the dose helps with the side effect another way to decrease the side effect not all women with hyperprolactinemia need treatment although women with hyperprolactinemia who do not make estrogen as a result need a treatment that either causes her to make estrogen or provides estrogen to the patient sometimes surgery may be needed if a tumor is very big and medicines doesn't improve the symptoms an mri will be done very often to check the size of the tumor so hyperprolactinemia is a condition in which the body levels of prolactin is very high which hampers the normal hormonal control of the reproductive tract system it can lead to irregular menstrual cycles reduced sperm production and infertility it is important to check for your prolactin levels when you are trying for pregnancy and use medicines to keep it under control thank you for listening